Ibram X. Kendi, the anti-racist, speculates on why blacks and Latinos get lower test scores than whites and Asians. Hint, it's not them, it's the test. Explain what the College Board has recently announced, that they are adding an environmental context dashboard for all students taking the SATs. What does this mean? In most tests, Latinos and black people receive lower scores than whites and Asians. The question is, is what is the problem? Is there a problem with the test takers or the test? Progressives have brainwashed black people into going to colleges and universities where they clamor for lowered standards. That is ridiculous. All of us that went through uh, the 1960s and 1970s and got into predominantly white schools, we wanted to show what we could do. We were not begging white people to lower the standards for us. And now you have blacks in America, more affluent than ever before, clamoring for lowered standards, clamoring for segregation. They want to resegregate. They want to redo. It is ignorance. That is a segment from the sequel to my very successful film, Uncle Tom. This one's Uncle Tom 2. I executive produced it. Justin Malone is the director. I had a question. How is math biased against blacks? Why do Asians do better on math than whites? This graph shows how much high school homework is done by blacks, Hispanics, whites, and Asians. Look at this. The bar on the left is the homework done by Asians, Right to the right is the black, see how low it is, and then Hispanics, and then whites. Now, assuming there's a correlation between how hard you work, whether it's practicing your jump shot, or working on a book report, maybe this is the explanation. There's a study that was done called Racial and Ethnic Differences in Homework Time Among U.S. Teens. And it found, and I'm quoting from the study, African-American high school sophomores spent less time on homework than their non-Hispanic white counterparts while Asian American students spent more than both racial groups of students. They found that family income, parental occupation, and parental education partly accounted for the difference in homework between African American and white students. Demographic characteristics and family structure rather than socioeconomic background partly accounted for the difference between Asian American and white students, end of quote. Now, when Ibram X. Kendi asks, is it the text ta test taker or the test he is really saying tests don't matter, especially when blacks and Hispanics don't do well on them compared to whites and Asians. Therefore, let's just lower the bar. This is from a website called The Arch Conservative. The piece is called Affirmative Action Hurts Black Students, and I'm quoting. Back in the 1960s, Cornell University introduced an affirmative action program that would increase the number of black students on campus. In the late 1960s, economist and professor Tom Sowell did a study at Cornell. He found out that the average black student at Cornell scored at the 75th percentile on the SAT, while the average white student scored above the 95th percentile on the SAT. Half of the black students at Cornell ended up on academic probation by the late 1960s. When MIT had its affirmative action program, a quarter of the black students did not graduate, and many of the black students who did graduate were more likely to be in the bottom quarter of the MIT class. Many of these black students could have gone on to other colleges and done superbly well. However, because of affirmative action, mismatching students to colleges where the academic rigor is far above their credentials causes needless failures. This is known as the mismatch theory. As Sowell puts it, there is no prestige in flunking out of Ivy Leagues, end of quote. Now, after the University of California system ended their affirmative action programs in, the, in 1996, not only did the graduation rate go up for black students, the absolute number of black students graduating from University of California went up. Their affirmative action ended. Many black students ended up going to UC Irvine and UC Davis rather than flunking out of UC Berkeley and UCLA. The black students who did get into UC Berkeley and UCLA after affirmative action ended, did well and were more likely to graduate because they were let in under the same academic standards as everybody else. If race was not a consideration on college applications, then the black students that do get into prestigious colleges 
are well qualified and do well at those schools, end of quote. By the way, I tried to get Mr. Kendi to come on my radio show and he declined calling the show a minstrel show. Why does the baloney avoid the grinder? Wait a second. This is a part of the show where the great Eldersky holds up a pair of brown my pillow, my slippers. That's the time. And they come in different colors and they come in different styles. So if for whatever reason you don't like this style, there is an alternative. Just call that number on your screen or go to mypillow.com promo code elder. And this, of course, is the product that started it all. The my pillow, my pillow, or am I being redundant? Now there's a my pillow 2.0. You've never slept on anything more comfortable. Call the number on your screen or go to mypillow.com promo code elder. And here is the six pack. Notice it says towels that work, meaning they absorb the water. Isn't that what a towel is supposed to do? They come in different colors. Call the number on your screen. By the way, there are over 600 my pillow products. And don't forget, mypillow.com promo code elder. Finally, this is the Giza Dream Bed Sheet. Giza is an area in Egypt where the finest cotton is grown. Mike scoured the world to find the best cotton, and that's where he found it. These come in different colors. Mine, of course, is white because I am the black face of white supremacy, but you're not. You may want a different color. Also, they come in different sizes because beds come in different sizes. Again, over 100 products. Call the number on your screen or go to MyPillow.com, promo code ELDER. That's MyPillow.com, promo code ELDER. Now, you know you like the show. Be sure to hit that like button and also subscribe. We're trying to get our subscriptions up. And then scroll down and get on our mailing list because believe it or not, from time to time, YouTube apparently has an issue with our videos. Whether it's one of, about the election of 2020, whether it's about the COVID mask mandates, whether it's about the so-called January 6th insurrection. Every now and then, for some reason, YouTube has an issue with our videos. To make sure you never miss a video, get on our mailing list. And you see that donate button, hit that, throw a little something in the tip jar, make sure we can still give you honest, hard-hitting programming. Larry with Epic.com, Larry with E-P-O-C-H.com. I am Larry Elder. This has been the Larry Elder Show for Epic Times. Remember, we've got a country to save. I'll see you next time.